it's core time, y'all. You already know we're gonna get good and sweaty. Today's class is for the purpose of helping you be able to keep activation in your core while doing full body movements. So a big issue that I notice a lot of dancers have is that, you know, while they're on the ground doing ab isolating movements that are just very specifically burning into the core, they can feel, you know, their transverse abs. They can feel that core activation. As soon as they get into dance class, they're doing more full body dynamic movements. They lose that connection to feeling their core really activate and support them. Now we really want to build this mind to muscle connection so that our core can support us while we're doing, you know, full body movements because that's what the core is meant to do anyways. Our deep transverse abs are meant to stabilize us, to give us balance, coordination, be able to transfer our weight from our lower body to our upper body, from side to side, and keep our spine really supported and protected. And it gives us power in our movement too. So coordination, power, balance. It's not just about having a six pack. It's like, how is your core really helping support you, to keep you on your leg, keep you centered, grounded, and protecting your spine. So that's what we're gonna be playing around today is more full body movements, we'll be working the arms, working the glutes a little bit, um, and really just practicing can we keep that activation of our core, that connection, that support, as we're also moving the rest of our limbs. So grab some water and let's get started. All right, y'all go ahead and start standing. We're just gonna begin with circling the arms and the wrists because we are gonna be doing a lot on the wrists today and working the arms. We want to be good and warmed up. Let's do a big arch and dive down. Rolling up, circle as you roll down. Inhale, rolling those wrists, circling the arms. Rebbling through the spine and squeezing the glutes to come down and come up. Beautiful. Let's take a big squat here. Feet nice and wide, and we're drawing that elbows down. Really squeeze your glutes and feel your core here. How is it supporting you to stay upright? Open and close the elbows here, really drawing the back, showing that activation in the back body. Beautiful hands down. We're gonna sway the hips side to side, just loosening them up a little bit. Let's drop that right knee in, twist open to the left. Exhale, center. Twist other way and center. Drop right. Turn out, drop left, turn out. Beautiful, take a little forward fold here. Interlacing your hands behind your back and letting those hands drop down towards the floor. Deep breaths here. Beautiful, all right, let's come on down to the floor We're gonna get our transverse abs activated so that we can feel them. So. If you've been on my channel before, you know this exercise. If not, this is gonna be super good to feel the deepest layer that we're trying to activate here. So, first of all, draw your low back to the floor, glue it down completely, don't let it arch or move around. And then you're gonna bring your legs up to a 90 degree angle. Make sure your knees aren't coming forward, that they're truly right over your hips. You're gonna press your hand into your leg, like you're trying to push it away and your leg is going to push back. So you're having this oppositional force here. You should feel that you are like working here, okay? So we're gonna hold all that. Let's go, inhale, exhale, pull the belly button down to the floor to peel your head off the floor and press. Pulling down, 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 pressing the low back into the floor, pressing into those legs, and the legs back into the hands for five. Four, pull the belly down, three, press two, press one, and down, beautiful. 
Circle those knees, okay? So there's a lot of pressing going on here. We are working that ability of our core to brace and to stabilize with all of that power, okay? Again, knees up, hands pressing, legs pressing back, press into the floor, exhale up. And press, like make those hands shake. This, you should be working here. Press, let's go. Channel some fire. Press two, press one, pull the belly down, and beautiful, circle. So we wanna make sure that we are not letting our belly puff up here. We wanna be actively pulling it down. Now that doesn't mean that we are sucking in, we are pressing downwards, okay? Last time, let's go. Press, press, press. Press into the, the back into the floor, hands with the legs, legs with the hands. Exhale up. The power, lift those shoulder blades off the floor, look at your belly, and press. Work those legs, press them into the hands for five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, so hopefully you're feeling some layers activate here. Beautiful, so coming up, there's a couple options here. Choose the one that works for you. We wanna prioritize good form over anything, so. Sweep your hands back, your fingers are gonna be facing forward. Feet, hips width apart, parallel. We're gonna press up into our reverse tabletop here. So you're not puffing the belly up, you are drawing in, bracing, squeezing the glutes to really lift those hips up here, okay? So we're gonna start with a tricep push up, okay? Now the thing here is that you don't wanna, what I see a lot is, dropping through the hips, and then barely bending the arms, okay? We wanna prioritize bending the arms a lot and only dropping the hips a little bit. And as we come back up, really squeezing the glutes to get that hip thrust at the top, okay? So try a couple of those first. So then we're gonna add in the legs. So we're going to walk, squeeze, okay? So drop it down. Pressing back up, nice, and press up. Okay, so we want to keep our core really stable here. The glutes are working, the arms are working. That's option one, just doing that march with the legs. Option two, to spice it up, would be to drop and then twist elbow to knee, still really working that other hip, that other glute to get the hips up. Up and down. Twisting, okay? So, pick your poison. This takes a lot of balance. Maybe start off with the first one. Get your balance there, and then you can work in the obliques with the twist, okay? So, let's get into it. We've got 20. Bend, hand strong. Two. Three, so noticing when you're here, like, don't sink through the shoulder. Really press into the floor. Squeeze and lift. Core is active. Can you feel that same activation here that you felt on the floor? as you can, and then kicking this leg through, 
and kind of kicking that arm off and then jumping back. Okay? So this is going to be fast, like hop, hop, hop back, hop, kick, hop back. Okay? We go side to side. Just going side to side, and as you're coming through, really using that core to lift that leg and to keep you lifted here, okay? And then hop back to our really nice plank. No booties in the air, no sagging hips, and crunching the low back, okay? Let's get it, this is a good little cardio one. All right, and ready, left, right, hop back, right, left, and back. Three, four, strong kick, point that toe. Five, six, seven, Nine, be light on your feet, little like ninja. Six. Keep it going, light on your feet. Nineteen. Twenty. Oh, good. Take a little child's pose. Deep breaths in. Full exhales out. Okay, we're getting the heart pumping a little bit. A little bit, let's come on to our side here. So, getting that elbow right underneath the shoulder. Hand down in front, fingers spread. Give those wrists a little bit of a break here. Now guys, what I want you to make sure of is we're gonna be pressing up, doing a little forearm press here, but that we don't wanna be pressing this way, okay? I don't wanna see you doing this. I want you to be pressing straight up and really almost bending, crunching into that side rather than pushing out, okay? You want to protect those shoulders as well as not sinking into the shoulders here, okay? You want to really be strong, activating the back of the body, plugging the fingertips into the floor, pushing into the floor to stay lifted. So with the rest of your body, go ahead and bend that bottom leg. My left leg is on top here. And you're gonna find a long spine here, okay? We are not opening up here. We are staying to the side, hand on our hip. We're gonna squeeze our outside of our glute here on this bottom leg and our core to press up, okay? So you should really feel your core. Again, not opening. Staying almost turned towards the diagonal here. Strong through that leg, okay? And squeeze. Put your hand on that side booty to feel it. Ten. Nine. Crunching in the core. Feel your core. Put your hands on your body. Mind to muscle. Six. Five. Four. Three. Oh yeah. Two. One. Beautiful. Coming up. Take a little side stretch. We're switching on the other side. We're in the booty arms and core, so shoulder right over the elbow, bottom knee bent, long spine, and let's go, squeezing from the glute, from the hip, Ugh. gauging the core, long spine, like you're in a plank, good, 10, nine, really crunch into that side, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Oh, yep. There it is, booty. A little side stretch here. Feel free to switch back around. What we're gonna do is come up to a side for our plank. And we're going to do a drawing the knee up, develop head coming down, okay? So the whole time, your core, you, you're, you're holding a plank while also keeping that stabilization as you're moving your leg to keep your balance, to stay stable in that shoulder and not be moving around, okay? Keeping the hips lifted, nice strong plank. We're gonna do five of these each side, nice and slow, really beautiful form. All right, ready? Let's get set up. Finding our side plank, pressing up. 
squeeze in the core, arm lifted, knee drop, and extend. Lower down. Drop up, extend, lengthen the lower. This is three. Other side, you are doing great. Go ahead and find that nice strong plank. Squeeze in the core, long spine. Let's draw that knee up. Extend, lower down. Draw the knee up, extend, lower down. Draw the knee up, feel the core. Put your hand there, mind to muscle. And last one, extend, lower down. Beautiful. So you'll notice a lot of times the glutes and the core have to work together to create that power and that stabilization. So if you're having a hard time feeling your glutes working here too as well, um, I have a video on how to activate your glutes as well. But while we're still here, Let's get back into the workout. So, full body, this is gonna be super challenging balance, but two options here. You can either just bring your hands behind your head, you stand, draw that knee up, using those hip flexors while keeping the spine really solid, and then beginning to tip and coming into a warrior three, using your glutes to lift that leg. We're not dumping and sinking into the spine, but really keeping that spine nice and lifted and flat and working the glute and then coming back up, okay? So our core is working to stabilize, to keep our balance as we are hinging and coming back up. Or option two, oh, I'm gonna try and do this one because it's so good, but like, ooh, goddamn. Okay, so option two would be to add a jump and then extend, and jump, extend. Really using that core and your glutes to stabilize, okay? So, pick your poison, maybe start off with five of these, and then once you get that balance, add in the jump, okay? Using your glutes to really send energy down to that leg to get you that lift. Okay, we got 10 of these, really good form. You can use your arms to help you balance, but also mind in the core, all right? And let's go. Six, 
eight, Ooh. nine, last one, ten. Ooh. Good job, y'all. Let's take a little malasana here. Stretch out those calves. Deep breaths in, full exhales out. Beautiful. We are gonna end on the floor with one of my favorite you know, full body exercises. Doing our bicycles, but with really nice leg lines. So let me demonstrate. So we're not just doing this, we're going to extend our legs here. So twist, develop, lengthen down, come to a straight hollow body hold before developing the next one. So we're really working our ability to use our hip flexors and our core to draw that leg into us, okay? Working our mobility. Whew. Let's take a breath here. Let's take a little bit of a stretch. Stretch out those legs in preparation. Even though we're mostly using strength here, this will help out a little bit. Okay, hands behind the head. And we're really twisting, guys, and keep those elbows out to the side. Don't let this happen, okay? Stay open, stay long, and let's go. We've got 20. Keep that hollow body hold. Draw your belly button down. Draw your low back to the floor. Two. Three. Four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway there, really feel that squeeze, feel that burn. Eleven. Twelve. Let's get it, y'all. 13, 14, 15, five more, let's get it, dig deep, 16, belly down, 17, 18, 19, 20, shake those legs up. Uh, feet down, we're gonna roll up into a bridge, stretching out the core. Deep breaths here, rolling down. Good job, guys. All right, let's hug that right knee into the chest. Left leg extends down. Just gonna do a short little cool down, bring the heart rate down. Go ahead and take a twist here. And your body relax. This is a good one to return to a bunch of times if you felt that a lot of those were hard and it was like, wow, this is a lot of coordination and balancing and stuff going on. Just come back to it. You will get so much better at it. Your core will get trained even more to stabilize and support you to get better balance. Let's go ahead and take a half happy baby here, letting that right knee drop open to the side. Beautiful. Go ahead and switch legs. Hug that left leg in. And take a twist here. Deep inhales, full exhales. Hopefully you guys got good and sweaty like I did in this. Let me know how your core was feeling after this class. Come back to the center. Half happy baby. Drop that left knee down. Extend that leg down. And we'll just take a moment here in Shavasana to just breathe. Breathing into the belly. Visualizing strength, vitality, health, radiance, this fiery power throughout your whole body. Take 
three full breaths, inhaling through the nose, exhale through the mouth. onto your stomach here, taking a little cobra, stretching out the core, and if you'd like to lift up into full cobra, and coming down, tuck the toes, hands by the ribs, inhale up, and press back downward dog, shake out the head and neck. And then walk your feet up to your hands, taking a little forward fold. And then rolling up. All right, y'all, quick and dirty core. Go rehydrate and have a beautiful rest of your day. There will be new classes every week. Please like and subscribe to the channel. That helps out so much. Gets all this goodness to other dancers. And I will see you soon.